In this video, I'm going to talk about shared mailbox in Microsoft 365. Uh, what is a shared mailbox? Shared mailbox is a mailbox that a uh, user can uh, use it to send email or receive email uh, using a uh, email address. Now that email address need not be that user's personal email address, but that uh, email address is like shared across multiple users. Now, shared mailbox can be used by multiple users to read and send email messages. And uh, there are multiple properties which uh, shared mailbox exhibits. Uh, now, some of them I have listed down. Now we can do an e email forwarding with that shared mailbox. So uh, if we want to forward an email from that uh, mailbox, it can be enabled. Uh, it can enable automatic replies. If someone sends an email to that mailbox, automatic replies can be enabled. It can export the mailboxes if you want to take a backup or if you want to retain it for some uh, legal purposes, we can retain those mailboxes. It can provide a common calendar and contact list. So a common calendar across an organization for a specific business stream can be established using the shared mailbox. Uh, it works on a membership model so uh, a person uh, needs to have some sort of an access to the shared mailbox now one is the membership model so if a shared mailbox is provisioned then a user needs to be added as a member in order to access the emails uh, email can be configured as send as so uh, if an end user wants to uh, send as or send on our behalf of uh, their uh, email addresses, then that can be configured. Uh, now, why people use shared mailboxes? Now, shared mailboxes are basically used uh, so that the support team can use it to send and receive email from same email address. So example, if a, 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 for a company, like say example, if a company uh, produces say, mobile phones and they want to provide a support service. Now, uh, now individual employees uh, can also uh, communicate with the customers but what if a company a company users leaves the organization okay so why don't we have some sort of a common email address so that uh, it is not dependent on any user or any customer support staff working within the organization so let's assume if we have a uh, a common shared mailbox called as help at say abc.com now that's a common email address which can be accessed by multiple users to send and receive email respond to customer so the customer will always receive an email uh, uh, as if uh, it has been sent from that mailbox however in the back end some customer executive might have triggered that request now all the records can be retained so that whatever traces happening in the emails will be in that common mailbox so that uh, multiple teams can refer to it so it acts as a common point of reference for the team member now it's not only works for email but it works for contact it works for the calendar as well so uh, it's basically a uh, a mailbox which can be used by multiple users for uh, serving a common interest now there are multiple ways to create a shared mailbox one is using microsoft 365 admin center second is using exchange admin center uh, and the third is using powershell command new dash mailbox now there are other ways through uh, which we can create a mailbox but i haven't listed those down but let's assume for time being that these are the three primary ways to create a shared mailbox now uh, let me show you something in action uh, so i'm in uh, microsoft 365 uh, admin uh microsoft 365 homepage. okay now from microsoft 365 homepage, you can navigate to admin so that will take you to the admin center which i have already opened over here now here uh if we expand teams and groups you will see something called as a shared mailbox so if i click on shared mailbox i'll be able to see the list of shared mailbox for my organization now if i want to create a new shared mailbox i can do that first i need to click add a shared mailbox and then i need to put in the name okay so let's assume the name is uh, say uh, say it's a help desk okay so i'll say help desk for say my company okay now i can 
put the name uh, now it has already picked up the name just by uh, appending the text in, in a lower case now if i don't want to use that text what i can do i can put my own so i'll just put help at this email address okay now if i click on save changes this mailbox shared mailbox will be provisioned okay now it might take a couple of minutes because it in the back end it is creating a, a repository to store your uh, mail okay now once a mailbox is created you can uh, it's very essential that you need to add some sort of uh, configuration information now the one being add members to your shared mailbox okay now if i click on add members to your shared mailbox then i'll be uh, given a prompt to add a member if i click on add a member then i can add uh, one or multiple users so let me add say three different users okay and i click on add <clears throat> once i add those user into the shared mailbox this users will be uh, able to access this mailboxes uh, by logging into outlook application okay so the first step is to add the shared mailbox team members now i close this record let me again go into this record and see what all other things i can do i can change the name i can click on basic information edit i can change the name of the shared mailbox i can add an alias okay i can add a different email address okay uh no. so one the primary email address is help now suppose if i want to put help dash info i can do that and i can click on add and this will be added as an alias okay uh, now alias will be uh, uh, helpful when you want to uh, have a different email address as well to uh, point to the same mailbox okay so i just click on save now i have added uh, alias to it uh, let me cross this out again go back into the settings and i can set up an email forwarding i can set automatic replies uh, and then i can even add members from here okay now under manage mailbox permission i have read and manage permission for three records send as permissions for three record okay now what is a send as permission or send as permission means these users can send email as this account originating name will not appear so that means if adele logs into this mailbox and if she sends an email, it will appear as if uh, it has been sent from help at the email address, okay, uh, help account. Now, there is an, another setting which is called a send on behalf of permission. So here, if we add a user, so let me add Adele over here and say add. Now I have added Edel uh, to send this uh, send email on behalf of permission. Now, what the description says is these users can send emails with both their account name and the shared mailbox name. Their emails will show that they were sent on behalf of help desk. So their email address will show as if they had been sent on behalf of help desk for uh, Gary INC. Okay. So that's the difference between send as and send on behalf of, okay? Now, uh, there are multiple ways, other settings also, you can do it over here. Now, what if we want to have some more settings, okay? If you are not satisfied with the settings provided by M365, what you can do, you can go into exchange settings. So if you click on edit over here, then it will take you to the exchange admin center, okay? Now in exchange admin center, you can do a whole bunch of other activities as well. Uh, you can uh, create a shared mailbox from here, add a shared mailbox. You can configure the mail flow settings. You can export the mailbox and you can make all sort of organization related change, delegation related change, which you can also do that in M365. From a mailbox perspective, you can manage the size of the mailbox. You can configure the message delivery restrictions and you can even set up manage mailbox policies. So that's it folks. That's uh, all about mailboxes in Microsoft 365. Uh, 
and say exchange uh, application thank you thanks for watching